Senator Owele Roches Okorocha, the distinguished senator, will be addressing a World Press Conference on the 31st of January 2022. He's a firm believer in the unity of Nigeria, a champion of the poor exactly, and the needy not only in Nigeria, but also in Africa. He is a successful businessman who made his wealth through a dint of hard work. He is also the founding father of the APC, who led a faction of Abga party to Amaja for the formation of the APC. Africa's foremost philanthropist and commander of free education, lover of the poor, and this could be seen in the number of his a number of philanthropic activities which he carried on uh, all over the country. People have been talking about this Almajiri and nobody has stepped into these children. And this Almajiri, we have over 13 million children out of school. And this is a time bomb for us. But Rochus Okorocha, being a southerner, has come to step and solve this our problem that has been devilling the northern Nigeria for the first hundred years. That is why I'm supporting him as a northerner. When I was a copper serving in Kano in one unity comprehensive college, so every morning as a teacher, you know, I have to wake up early to go to school and come back. I started seeing a lot of school buses, uh, you know, branded Rocha, Sokorocha, Rocha, Sokorocha. I was forced, I've never seen him, I've never heard about him. I was forced to ask that, please, this Rocha, Sokorocha, how can a house man be bearing Igbo name? So the proprietors of the school there now say, no, he's not a house man, he's an Igbo man. I say, what? An Igbo man, seeing his name in all the school buses, he now said, that is why they call him Rochas, the uh, philanthropist. So the question should be, if we have investment in about 13 states of this country, will you allow any part of this country to go into flames? So he will manage it. And look at what we are beginning to ask again. Why some of us are thinking that we need to change the paradigm shift. All the people who have been aspiring to lead this country in this new dispensation, either they are teachers or they are people that started as a civil servants. So we are looking for a businessman that have had investment, who knows how to manage investment. Government is business. And if you cannot manage government as a business, you have no business seeking to be a president. So I think the security needs a man that have properties and investment all over Nigeria. And who has something at stake? Who is, has not something, something very big at stake. He will not allow that nation to go under.